Hey guys, I recently put out two solo bass videos uh, with a ton of harmonics in it. And if you want to see the standalone lesson videos for those, I'll annotate to them here. And this is in response to that, and this will be just a video for bass harmonics and all the bass harmonics that I use in these two videos. So if you already feel you have bass harmonics down, um, just go ahead and check out those if you want to learn those songs. But if you don't quite yet, um, that'll be here. And this video will also be all the harmonics that I use in those. So anyway, let's start dividing the string. So if you have just an open string, say E, E right there, um, here are all the ways that I like to divide it to get harmonics. And what that means, let's start with the easiest one, which is right here on the 12th fret, which is right in the middle of the string, or middle of the nut in the bridge, and divides the string into two. And then you get a cool different sound and brings it up an octave. And how to achieve this um, the best way possible, I feel, is to, it, instead of pressing um, your finger all the way down into the fret, you bring it actually exactly over that fret and then just press it really softly. You're not pressing it down at all. It's just a slight, your finger's just there. And then pluck it a little bit harder than you normally would and then get off of it right away. So, so you can get a bit more volume if you get the harmonic and then and get off of it. So you're just touching the string, you're not even pressing down on it at all. So there's a 12th fret, and then there's right above the 7th fret, and right above the 5th. These are the three ones that I use most often, and they're the easiest to get. Though in these two songs, uh, there's, there's quite a bit more. Um, and as you go into harmonics that are a little bit harder to get, um, I mean harder to get in, as in it's harder to get volume out of them, you just gotta pluck harder. So the 12th is a bit easy, pluck a little bit harder, harder than you normally would on an open string. And then the 7th, pluck a little bit harder, and then the 5th a little bit harder, and then once you get into the higher ones, you really start plucking very hard to get those notes. So let's go into the other ones. We have 12th fret right above it, 7th fret right above that and the 5th fret right above that and then on, a, on this one we have the 4th fret and this one's a little bit harder to get, it's a little bit to the left of the 4th fret is where the harmonic is, so it's not right on it, just a little bit to the left. You can also get the, this same harmonic on the 9th, it creates the same note and the 9th is right above the 9th, that's in... Um, right at the beginning of a collapse, you use the, the ninth fret. So we have 12th, um, 7th, 5th, right to the left of the 4th fret, and then we have just to the right of the 3rd fret. It's another one. So not right above, uh, right above, just to the right of it. So we have these two harmonics that are kind of in uh, this 3rd fret space, or 4th fret space. And then the next one, which is the hardest one, and this is as far as I usually go when it comes to doing harmonics and dividing the string, unless it's pinch harmonics. Um, but for bass, this is as far as I go, which is, this one is almost in the middle of the third fret. It's almost like if you take the, the, the exact middle, like where the, where the dot is, is how I look for it, and then just go a little bit to the left of that, that's where that one is. So here are all the harmonics that that I personally use on a bass. We've got the 12th, 7th, 5th, and then these two, which are the same. we got the 9th, and then just a little bit to the left to the 4th fret, which was the 9th, a little bit to the right of the 3rd fret, and then a little bit to the left of the middle of the 3rd. In Guitar Pro, when I tab it out, this one's 2.4 how I think of it. That's the 2.4th fret. So all together. All right. And that allows you to get all these other notes and uh, I think they're pretty cool um, as I like harmonics a whole lot and, and they sound great. So, all right. About almost five minutes in. If you guys feel you have bass harmonics down, I think they're a ton of fun. Um, once you feel you got them down, you can learn one of these two songs, which I'll annotate below. And uh, I think I'm just gonna jam for a little bit. I feel like playing bass. 
while you decide what you're going to click on. Thanks for watching, guys.